For 365 days, Putin has been shaking the Ukrainian earth and every single day means horror and despair for millions of people in and outside Ukraine. Currently, according to the Ukrainian Ministry of Defense, 20,000 Russian shells are fired at Ukraine every single day. United Nations estimates of dead and injured soldiers on both sides run into the hundreds of thousands, those of the civilians in the tens of thousands, among them over a thousand children. It is estimated that more than a million Ukrainians, mostly from Eastern Ukraine, have been trafficked into Russia, including up to 300,000 children who can be quickly handed over to Russian parents under Russia's new adoption law. With nearly 8 million Ukrainians, 90% of whom are women and children having fled abroad, and some 6 million internally displaced persons, this is the largest refugee disaster since the Second World War, according to the United Nations. According to the UN, 17.6 million people in Ukraine are currently in urgent need of humanitarian assistance. The International Society for Human Rights makes the following demands to the EU. A strict unified line of support for Ukraine by all member states, unanimous condemnation of Russia as the aggressor, intensification of work on the documentation of war crimes and the establishment of a war crimes tribunal, support for trauma recovery, especially for victims of torture and for children, continuation of sanctions and stricter monitoring of the many evasions and violations of sanctions, immediate investment of the approximately 350 billion euros in funds frozen by the previous sanctions for the reconstruction of Ukraine, increased education and information about the meaning of the war for EU societies and improvement of the reception and residence conditions for Ukrainian war refugees. Furthermore, we make the following demands to the Russian government. Immediate withdrawal from Ukraine of all Russian occupation troops, mercenaries and criminals released for the war. Immediate cessation of rocket fire on civilian infrastructure, especially schools, hospitals and humanitarian aid distribution points, an immediate end to mass deportation and abduction of Ukrainian citizens and children in eastern Ukraine. They must be returned to Ukraine immediately.